Thanks for watching Be Better Golf. Click the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. This is a playing vlog, I think about seven holes from Apache Creek Golf Course, just outside of Phoenix, just east of Phoenix. I shot this while I was in the area shooting those videos with Mike Malaska. So this was in between when I had done like four or five videos in the morning with Mike, and then uh, later in the afternoon we would do a bunch more videos. So those are all the different uh, Malaska videos that you've been seeing on the channel recently were filmed uh, either this day or the day after I was there for two days. So that was a solid dr uh, shot, but it started straight at the flag and drew too much, which is uh, real common for me. I got to remember too, when I'm putting the draw swing on it, which is kind of my stock swing now, to have the face open just a little bit of a dress. That was a, a solid chip, just misread how much slope there was. So I'll have this for par. I had a good time when I was out there. I uh, learned a lot with Mike and got to play some golf out here. That was a good putt. The guy who works at this golf course, a really nice guy actually, um, is a Be Better Golf subscriber. So that was cool. It's always cool when I go to golf courses and um, people know about the channel. And he, uh, he also figured that I was there to do videos with Mike, so he was right. All right, so second hole, a shortish par, like a 380-yard par four, something like that, maybe like 370, something like that, par four. That one was solid, went dead straight. I always, I mean, the, I think the main thing in my golf swing that if I could wake up in the morning and change it, um, would be, I, I think it needs to be, a lot shorter, uh, less wrist set, and just less arm fold, basically. Just needs to be shorter. Like, even with my 7-iron and other clubs like that, it's like well past parallel. That was not a good wedge shot. And uh, just, that's just too far away to hit a wedge. So the wind is uh, is howling pretty good here. So this is uphill and into the wind. And ever since I did that, the putting video series, uh, the Be Better Golf putting system with Tim, I've really improved my lag putting. All right, this is the hole I really embarrassed myself on with Chuck Evans, with all this up there. So I don't wanna put it there, I wanna put it there. So a little payback here. Be Better Golf, am I any better? later two years later whatever it's been yeah I used to be absolutely terrified of out of bounds left so that's effectively out of bounds because that is very dense Arizona scrub on the left hand side there and when I had shot some videos with Chuck Evans at this course um, I had hooked it left into that stuff and uh, this time I hit it right down the middle so that that felt like a, a minor sign of improvement All right, 88 into the wind. Um, so I'm, I'm figuring this is gonna be a little less than 100 yards. Now just n not hitting my, I mean, that's not close enough for a wedge shot from 88 yards into the wind or anything else. That's, that's something I would love to improve. But that's the type of thing that improves from actually playing golf. Like practice doesn't improve those distance control things. It does, but only so much. That's actually playing golf and improves that. All right, good two putt. All right, moving on. This is a, a nice hole, a par five. A little bit of a dog leg to the right. Pretty wide fairway. Not bad. Let's see what I can do off the drive here. Yeah, that's just too long of backswing. That's not going to be very repeatable. But hit a good drive right down the middle. And kind of a long fairway. Didn't really roll too much. But I have, I think, 240 yards left. So I have my hybrid out. And uh, there's uh, quite a breeze going. I forget. I think it was... 
kind of like a right to left breeze a little bit. You get my feel here. I, lo I love my high break club. Yeah, hit it really well right at the flag stick. It's going to come up just short in the green side bunker. It's a bunker there. I don't know if that's a green side bunker. Or a... Yes, it is a green side bunker. So you can see it um, jumped up into the face there, rolled backwards just a little bit. So this is a up and down opportunity for a birdie. I really like this kind of sand. I'll be able to kind of pass it through there pretty shallow. Wow, that's a hard bunker. Good thing I swung easy. Yeah, it's a really hard bunker, so I, I was happy that I swung easy, but I, I like firm bunkers, usually as, lo as long as I, I know what they are. All right, so this is for birdie. It's right in the middle. All right, birdie. That felt good. Birdie. Yes, yeah, someone had written in the comment section, I really appreciate all your guys' comments. Somebody had written in the comment section that now that the weather is getting worse on the East Coast and in Scandinavia and other places that do better golfers are, they really enjoy the vlogs because they're not able to get out and play. So I'm going to try to do a lot of vlogs this winter. All right, that's a par three, and that was a good shot. Just a little to the right, so that's going to run to the back fringe the green. of the green. It was a it was a firm green, so this is just off the back. So putting from the fringe, but it's basically putting from like a first cut of rough. So I have that left for my par, which is this. Yeah, I, I've used I've always putted the same way, left hand low. Um, probably about five years ago, I started yeah, doing it where I put my my fingers cut. against my wrist. So, and that felt that like a really good stroke. Yeah. All right, this is a a par four. There's like some dusty scrub area to the right, grass to the left, and uh, a little bit of water just short of the hole. This is like definitely my worst driver swing of the day. Just a little, just off balance, just under this lazy and sloppy looking. So put me over into this area. And I, I didn't really have a lot of great grip on the ground here. I think I have about 140 yards to the hole here. It's a nine iron. Didn't get great impact out of that. Hit some rocks and other stuff before I hit the ball. So only hit it to here. You can see the water short left. So this is turning into a, an extremely bad hole already. So here's my third shot into this par four. That was bad. And fourth shot. Still not on the green. Yeah, this is. It's got to get better. All right, and, and then I chip to there. So that's a going to be a double bogey six if I make that one. Wait, check it. Yeah, it's pretty close. And uh, on Be Better Golf, it's 2019 already. We are, uh, that is the, um, let me know in the comments what rule, rule change you're most excited about. Definitely being able to leave the flag stick in is huge for me. And what is the thing, somebody tell me, what is the thing that Bryson DeChambeau is going to do? I think he's going to be leaving it in even for like um, four foot putts. So, which that might end up on the pro tour and might end up taking even more time because if Bryson wants it in but somebody else wants it out, it's going to be like putting it in, taking it out constantly. So that could take a while. All right, so final hold. That was a very good drive down the middle. There's a lot of there's a lot of wind in the face, and I've been working with that the DST compressor a lot, trying to get shaft lean. Certainly with my irons. I really like my alignment here. And I hit that really well. It's, it just flew like it just was not affected by the wind at all. It just went through everything. Yeah. I hit it so good, so I don't care. I don't care that I flew the flag stick by like 20 yards. I misjudged the wind. The wind's just going like this. It's not really hurting. It really wasn't hurting, but the quality of strike was, was awesome. So I have this left for my birdie. Always usually like putting from the fringe a lot. So 
Let's see if I can get this close. I've, after that, doing the Be Better Golf putting system with Tim and changing my concept of lag putting from trying to hit it a certain speed to trying to hit it a certain amount of time, I've done much better with my lag putts. Yeah! <laughs> hey, and don't forget about the Be Better Golf putting system with Tim Yelverton. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoyed this vlog. I'm actually headed back to uh, Superstition Mountain across on the other side of the mountain and to do more videos with Mike Malaska. That was good. So subscribe, see you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We're getting to the putting green, Tim, and this is really the area where so many people have a lot of confusion about how to get better. It seems like a totally different portion of the game, and we have super excited to announce something that can make people better putters. That's right, we, we have, over the past couple days, we have filmed and developed a Be Better Golf putting system. And, and really what we've done for you at home is we have defined uh, some clear objective ways to become a better putter. We've taken you through the foundations of putting. We've taken you through distance control, directional control, green reading, how to, how to use your routine on the golf course. And then we've also got, at the end of it, we have some ways where you can not only train, but you can test your skills and then ultimately become a, a more consistent putter and a better putter day in and day out. Yeah, it's a really clear and concise and comprehensive way to become a better putter. It's called the Be Better Golf Putting System with Tim Yelverton, a tour short game coach who works with guys on the PGA Tour, women on the LPGA Tour. And I really am confident, very proud of this product, that it's going to make you guys much more confident and better putters. You guys can get it through the link in one of these corners at bebettergolf.net slash premium.